Fletcher Nebel's Seven Days in May is a political thriller that explores the potential for a military coup d'etat in the United States. The novel is set in the early 1960s, during the height of the Cold War, and centers around a fictional president named Jordan Lyman, who is attempting to negotiate a disarmament treaty with the Soviet Union. The novel's plot is driven by a conspiracy within the military to overthrow the president and prevent the treaty from being signed. The novel's central conflict revolves around two characters, President Lyman and General James Mattoon Scott, the head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Scott is a charismatic and popular figure within the military, who is beloved by many for his service during the Korean War. However, he is also fiercely opposed to the disarmament treaty, which he views as a betrayal of American values. Scott's opposition to the treaty leads him to conspire with several other high-ranking military officials to overthrow the president and take control of the government. The novel's plot unfolds over the course of seven days, as President Lyman and his advisors become increasingly aware of the plot against them. The tension and suspense of the novel are heightened by the fact that it is unclear whether the president will be able to stop the coup before it is too late. One of the central themes of the novel is the tension between democracy and military authority. Nebel explores the idea that the military, with its strict hierarchy and emphasis on discipline and obedience, is fundamentally at odds with the democratic values that underpin American society. The novel suggests that the military's commitment to these values is tenuous at best, and that the temptation to seize power and impose its will on the country is always present. Another theme that emerges in the novel is the importance of leadership. Nebel contrasts the president's commitment to democracy and peaceful negotiation with Scott's desire for military domination. Through this contrast, the novel suggests that leadership is not just a matter of personal charisma, but of fundamental values and beliefs. President Lyman's commitment to democracy and peaceful resolution of conflict is ultimately what enables him to overcome the coup attempt. The novel's characters are also noteworthy for their complexity and depth. President Lyman is portrayed as a thoughtful and principled leader, who is deeply committed to his ideals. However, he is also shown to be vulnerable and unsure of himself at times, particularly when facing the possibility of a military coup. General Scott, on the other hand, is presented as a charismatic and capable leader, who genuinely believes that he is acting in the best interests of the country. However, his obsession with military dominance blinds him to the potential consequences of his actions. Overall, Seven Days in May is a thought-provoking and suspenseful novel that raises important questions about the nature of democracy, leadership, and military authority. The novel's exploration of these themes is particularly relevant in today's world, where the tension between democracy and authoritarianism is an ever-present concern. Nebel's masterful storytelling and nuanced characterization make Seven Days in May a timeless classic of political fiction, and a must-read for anyone interested in the complexities of power and democracy.